How would you think? First first time seeing this whole team together. I'm pleased. There. I'm pleased. We, you know, a couple guys got kind of winded, um, but we did what we wanted to do. We we two platoon and played everybody about the same amount of minutes, and everybody touched the ball and had opportunities to do things. Um, loved our ball pressure. Loved the fact that we're passing the ball to each other and making extra passes. Um, aggressive, our ball pressure was great and so was us, we were pushing the ball and attacking. So, um, you know, the things that we worked on, we did. Transition defense was still not, you know, but it's summer, it's August 9th, for God's sakes. John, what did you think about how active Alex was? He was terrific. That's as good as he's played. And, and again, you, you have to understand, those are older professional players. That's what they are. Uh, the team will play tomorrow. He's got four NBA in and out guys that have been in the league and have done that. And so um, it'll be even it'll be a tougher test for us. But we got like we just kept coming for 40 minutes of so they're they're tired right now. I don't know. Like one of the guys said, Coach, don't do an eight man rotation. Just stick with the two platooning, so that's probably what we'll do. Cal, there's so much. There's been so much talk about Alex maybe trying to trying to adjust his game to be a three for you. Today, you let him sort of be what he is, does yeah. fast. Did you, is that sort of the conclusion you've reached? No, him? Like, no. And I told him the only reason we split the teams the way we did, I thought they'd be balanced, so that one team doesn't, you know, go out there and not play to their potential because one guy or two guys. So I just said we're split. I played mostly veterans on the first in Devin, and I played, you know, Alex uh, in a four spot only because I didn't have him with Derek, where I could have had Derek Willis at a four. Can you afford to have him play the same way if he's at the three? I mean, yeah. just, just yeah. be your Absolutely. energy rebound. That's what yeah. Michael Kidd was. Michael Kidd was exactly the same thing. Um, but he's still, you know, consistent shooting. we got to work on that. Um, but I tell you, he was aggressive and came up with balls out of nowhere. He just does things that normal players can't do. And I, to be honest, the stuff he does, I can't teach. I wish I could, but is I can't. That, is that because of athleticism? That and body. a toughness. He's got a, he's got a, a toughness to him. Um, he was good. Was Coach, good. You're, Coach, you've been in the Bahamas two days thus far. You have one game under your belt. Uh, what do you expect to get out of this trip for your team? We're just going to try to learn about who we are as a team and who individual players are. Uh, we're going to learn that uh, who, how do we have to do this? Come, you can sit down. How do we have to do this? How do we have to play? What's the best way for us to play? And you can't do that unless you have stiff competition so we can see it against good teams. And what's the experience in the Bahamas been like for you? It's been terrific. We, we have only been here two days, but it's been really nice. John, with all your bigs, why, why did Alex Jones well, with that group, he had to jump center. But if he was with Marcus Lee, I'd probably let Marcus Lee jump center. Probably, I don't know, I think Carl probably could have Carl jump center. Yeah. But with that group he's on, that's that's why. Aaron scored every way he scored today. Dunk, layup, driving layup, free throws, three-pointer. How much more of a, of a complete game is Aaron? Do you see well, Aaron? one of the things that he wants to do, which was his comments to me, I don't ever want to evaporate on the court. I all, I want to have a presence on the court whether I'm scoring or not, which means defensively. You saw him pressuring the ball today, going up and playing. You saw him in pick and rolls. You saw him rebounding the ball. Uh, you saw him fighting in there. I mean, that's when you have a presence, sprinting the court. Um, that's going to be a little different. You know, we it's going to take us time to get to where we were in 2012, where we flew. Like that ball went in, missed, and here we come. And we got to get to that point. And that means, guys, Aaron and Alex and the other guy, you got to fly. But that doesn't mean leak out. It means you got to try to rebound. And then you just got to turn and sprint and outrun that guy. Uh, but that's, he was terrific. I mean, I, I, I didn't think anybody gave us a bad effort. I didn't think anybody did. And that's amazing August 9th in 10 practices. So. I wonder if that surprised you that nobody did give you a bad effort this early. Well, you had Derek was a little nervous to start the game, but it's, you know, it's, he should be. He didn't play much last year. Now all of a sudden he's in, he's playing, he's making plays, the ball's coming to him, and he's having to remember plays, which he remembers them all now. Um, you know, he was good, Dominic was good. I, 
like I said, I didn't, I didn't see anybody play poorly. Um, so um, we'll see. There was a couple more. plays where Alex uh, just took the rebound away from a Puerto Rico guy, and then there was another time when they were driving to the basket, and the next time the guy came down, he, he really uh, made him earn what he could get. What, what, what do those kind of plays say to you? Well, again, there's not many players that can play that way. And that's why that means you're in great condition, you're mentally tough, and you're mentally aware, and you're always on point because that's the best part of what you do. And now all of a sudden making free throws hits a three, getting him to drive more to make easy plays. It's all this process that he's going through, but where he is physically right now, where he is mentally right now, the toughness he's showing, it's, you're starting to see it now on in, in games. Alexis for Tyler in just 18 minutes. Uh, could you talk about his command of the offense and you know, how good he looks in? Uh, push the ball, team. really push the ball and found his teammates. He also, though, wasn't so much his command of the offense. He put great pressure on the ball handler. And in the second half, the guy, just like it's a gnat, you, you know, all of a sudden you kind of let him steal one. You know, he had a couple plays like that. So it's, it's really, it changes the dynamic of our team right now because we didn't have that. If things weren't going well at guard or somebody got in foul trouble or we wanted to try, now all of a sudden it's a, it's a different thing. It's a different dynamic for us. He was good. He was really good. Andrew was great. Andrew, you know, like I said, he made plays and both of them played well.